and is what safe nothing protects you more than the names of god once you know the revelation of it will enforce it to work for you who needs protection i'm giving you the answer he said that the name of the lord is a fortified or a strong tower the righteous run it into it and it's you see you see the problem is that we don't know our god we don't even know his name we we proclaim that we do but we don't really know that is why we are so afraid if we know the god that we serve and know his name because remember it's the name of the lord 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 is a strong tower the righteous run it into it how how does the righteous even know to run first of all the righteous need to know the name and not just knowing the name he needs to know or she needs to know the rev the revelation the mystery behind the name to understand what the name Hello everyone. Hello. How are you? Are you excited today? We are. We apologize for the delay. Oh yes. Oh yes. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, we are excited that you join us on this third day of this series. Yes. Uh, it's been a day good time. Three, yeah. It looks like the days are moving very fast for me. Um, and I pray that all that we've been talking about has been a blessing so far. Yeah. And we pray that today also the Lord will use us to speak to marriages and to women and to men as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I believe today is going to be a good day. So to stay, uh, make sure you tune in, don't leave. Make sure you share the channel, uh, share your page. Make sure you invite people to join. Uh, today's session is going to be a blessing. Yes, amen. amen, amen. So do you want to start off with a word of prayer? Yeah, yeah, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray like we always do. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you, we bless you for tonight as well. We pray that, Lord, you will have your way in our midst. You are the reason why we have gathered here. We pray the Lord you will speak to us, speak to men, speak to women. Yes, Lord. Uh, we pray that today you will give understanding in the name of Jesus. Yes, we ask the marriages we fix today in the name of Jesus. Yes, we ask that those that are preparing for marriage, they will receive the right information yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray yes, the Lord you will have your way. We come against every plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name we ask the Lord you will cover everything that we are broadcasting with, with the blood. And we pray that there will be no distractions tonight yes, in Jesus' name. We give you praise and give you glory. Use us as a vessel to bless your people. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Are you guys excited today? Today we are talking about the female bravado. Oh, yes. Um, basically the innate <laughs> spirit of a female. Ooh. The femininity of a female. Ooh. A.K.A. thinking pink, basically. Mm, that yes. means, man, we need to pay attention. Yes. If you want to make your wife happy, I, I would suggest that you actually pay very good attention yes. to learn about the woman so you can be a blessing to the woman that you marry to or you're going to marry. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I think the Lord will speak to us today. Amen, amen. So, basically, what is your idea of a woman? Before we get really started, I want to know what is your idea of a woman besides me? Number one, when you think about women, I think about beauty. Mm -hmm. And so... A woman is a beautiful, beautifully made, mm -hmm. a wonderful made. I believe the Bible says we are, fear, we are wonderfully and fearful made. Mm -hmm. yep. I always thought that the women were the wonderfully made part. Amen. And then the men will be the fearful one. <laughs> 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 and so a woman is a beautifully made mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, caring, mm -hmm. uh, um, loving, mm -hmm. um, in a sense, because of the nurturing, the nurturing aspect of them being able to be a, uh, 
nurture babies and all that. So uh, a woman brings a sense of home mm -hmm. around a man. Uh, there's so many things that you, when you think about a woman, because you always think about your own mother mm -hmm. anytime you are thinking of a woman. And so a woman is a blessing to the family. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, but God forbid, when the woman has left the house, you see the gap. Mm -hmm. You see that the family struggle because a woman does so much yeah. to keep the family together. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's, a, there's something that the Lord has given us as men. To, that is the, the, that's, I actually think that if you, play for, if you pray for blessings, the Lord gives you a woman Amen. as a blessing. When you get a woman as a blessing, your life will never be the same. Amen. And so women carry things that I think some of us have not discovered yet. Mm -hmm. So I pray that today, by the way we will talk about, it will help us to really understand the gift that God has given to men. Amen. And I know yesterday we did talk about men and how we should, be, we should treat men and all that. Yeah. But I think today we should learn more about women and how they should be treated and the responsibility. Maybe you can touch on that as well. Mm -hmm. That could be a blessing to somebody that probably is getting ready to get married. Um, and so, all those in marriage. And all those in marriage. Mm -hmm. So we will try to touch on everything about women and also so that men, please pay, pay attention so you can learn some few things that can be a blessing. Mm -hmm. All right? Amen. So I wanted to start off with Genesis chapter 2, <clears throat> verse 20. It says, So the man gave the names to the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. Mm. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Verse 21, so the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Mm. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Yep. And then the man said, this is now bone oh, of my, my bones. bones and flesh of my flesh. flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out I of a man. man. And so here we see that Adam had already started, you know, gisting around in um, in the the wilderness where he was. He mm. addressed everyone by name, and then he realized there was no suitable helper. Mm. He mm. realized that all these people are animals, mm. but I need a companion. Mm. And so God saw fit mm. that I come into your life. And I think it wasn't just Adam that recognized that. Yeah. God also saw yes, that. Yes, God saw that. Although Adam, there was a need for that mm -hmm. with Adam, mm -hmm. but he didn't know where to turn. Mm -hmm. And so God saw that it was fit for somebody to come and help mm -hmm. him. So God initially made the woman mm -hmm. as somebody that can come in and help. Mm -hmm. But God knew that if the man sees the woman mm -hmm. because of the beauty of the woman, mm -hmm. Because of the attraction of the woman, he has no choice but to marry her. Mm -hmm. And so when we talked about the beginning stages of marriage, when, the, when, the Adam, when Eve was made, and I know you'll go into more details mm -hmm. on that, but when she came, when Adam actually saw her, she's oh, like, wow. Oh, you to take my revelation. That's why you said No, no, no. I'm not going to talk about your revelation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. But when Adam saw her, mm -hmm. he's like, wow, this is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. The, for the first time, I've seen somebody who's just like me. Yeah. And this one is not just like me, but she's more beautiful. Mm -hmm. She got shape. She got everything that I need as a man. And so where did we come from? So you came out of the rib of the man. And where's the rib located? Which is the side here. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the rib is more on the front mm -hmm. than the back. Mm -hmm. And so, guys, your wife should be on more this side of you. All right? This side. So anywhere you go, if you have... A wife, mm -hmm. she should be ahead of you in a mm -hmm. sense. You should, your wife should be the one to go ahead of you mm -hmm. in a sense that she brings favor to you. Preach and so when she's, very she, she's here, she attracts favor to your life. Mm -hmm. All right? That is what the Bible says that, um, he said that, um, what's the word? She obtains favor from yes. the Lord. Yes. He, he who finds, finds mm -hmm. a wife. Okay? Mm -hmm. So he who finds. Amen. He who, he who finds a wife finds mm -hmm. a good thing mm -hmm. 
and obtain favor from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, where does the favor come? Favor come from the front. Mm -hmm. Like when somebody sees somebody, they, they favor the person. Mm -hmm. And so if the wife is always here, mm -hmm. she attracts favor to your life as a man. That's and women good. carry, uh, a, a godly woman should be mm -hmm. able to bring favor to mm -hmm. her what, husband. Not contention and evil Not contention and disaster. And evil. No, not contention and evil. Okay. Uh, a woman was made to help the man. Mm -hmm. God knows that a man needs favor. Okay. And so then everything the woman brings is mm -hmm. what the man lacked. Mm -hmm. So favor was one of the things that the man lacked. Mm -hmm. And so when the woman comes, she brings the favor to mm -hmm. the man's life. Mm -hmm. And so if you're a guy, if you're a, man, a husband listening, you, the woman in your life is the one God has ordained to attract favor into your life. Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't seen anything yet. If you are, if you are not married, you haven't seen anything yet. Mm -hmm. If you are married and you are not treating your wife well, mm -hmm. you have not seen anything yet. Mm -hmm. The day you begin to treat that woman very well, it attracts so much favor into your life mm -hmm. that you, you will know that it did. What God has said is true. Amen. 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 And so with that said, when we talk about the woman, the Bible says that, we were made for you. Mm. It didn't say that, it didn't specify that you were made for us, no. yeah. but we were made, made. for you. Yeah. Yeah. And so we do carry a favor. Mm. And so most people who abuse their wives, they are doing a disservice to, to their themselves. marriage and to themselves. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Because they, they anything that you don't understand, you abuse it. Mm -hmm. So they don't understand the purpose of marriage. Mm -hmm. They don't know that this marriage is, is going to benefit them. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we spoke about man having vision and the mm -hmm. woman being able mm -hmm. to come in mm -hmm. and help the man in his vision. Mm -hmm. to. And so you as a man, if you understand the purpose of the woman in your life, you will treat her very well. Mm -hmm. You make sure that the woman is very happy mm -hmm. and, and, and is happy to help you. Mm -hmm. you. You create an environment where she will enjoy to help you. Mm -hmm. Don't make it so hard for yourself. Mm -hmm. So men that abuse women... Uh, if you abuse a woman, that means you lack understanding mm -hmm. and you lack, you, you lack knowledge. You don't know the purpose of which you, were mar you, married. you married. And so that is why you're abusing mm -hmm. the woman. Uh, no matter how bad the woman is, mm -hmm. a man can help bring that woman to a place where she'll be suitable for him. Mm. We carry that as well. Yesterday we talked about a woman being able to bring the man out of a man. Mm -hmm. A man also is able to watch the woman and make her perfect for mm, himself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we saw that uh, with jesus christ yes all right so when you do read the book of ephesians uh, af after all that <laughs> jesus talked about in ephesians uh, let's look at the scripture here ephesians 5 26 he said that that he might sanctify and cleanse it with what with washing of the water mm -hmm. by the word. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read the previous verses, he's talking about marriage. Mm -hmm. He's comparing marriage with Christ. Mm -hmm. how, the, 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 how we are married, like a, a man married to a woman, mm -hmm. so is Jesus married to the church. Mm -hmm. And what Jesus that is, does is he sanctifies the church. Mm -hmm. He washes it every day. Mm -hmm. The word of God uh, is what washes us. Mm -hmm. And so Christ is always working on his bride. Mm -hmm. So the Bible said that when he comes, he will come for a perfect bride. Mm -hmm. And so um, as you, it's our responsibility to make the best out of our, to make to bring the best out of our wives. Mm -hmm. uh, if your wife is misbehaving, mm -hmm. it's as a result of what you actually have been putting in her. Mm -hmm. uh, She's because, a mirror of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And women are incubators. The same way you, you gave out sper a sperm and the baby came out, the same way if you keep giving her a headache, she'll give you trouble. <laughs> and I believe that if we start treating our wives with, respect, with, with honor and love and cherishing mm -hmm. them, what will happen is that they will treat us very well. Mm -hmm. They will respect us and they will actually help us mm -hmm. to be the best that we can mm -hmm. as God has ordained it. So women are very, um, men have a responsibility mm -hmm. when it comes to treating a woman Mm -hmm. Well, because at the end of the day, it benefits you more than mm -hmm. even her. All right. So we were created for you. And yes. so in this sense, when we talk about even in terms of our ministry, mm -hmm. people don't know that um, maybe five years ago, six years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago when we started, there was not many first ladies on even a flyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember you took a stance and you said that my wife and I have to be on the flyer yeah. together for yeah. every program mm -hmm. that we do as a couple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because why? There were a lot of men asking, 
you know, why don't you put other men on there? I wish I could pull out the flyer too. Yeah. I, I think the last time I saw it, yeah, that was I one of the first know. flyers we went on. <laughs> um, there was a lot of back backlash. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the men, I mean, these were apostles and, mm -hmm. and big men of bishops mm -hmm. that were on the flyer with. And I was mm -hmm. the only one with my wife on the flyer. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they, they were fighting the flyer. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, if I'm the host pastor, I'm going to put my wife on the flyer. Mm -hmm. And you have no choice but to mm -hmm. accept it. And so they fought, but I kept, the, I kept the picture on. And that was, it wasn't something that I saw. Mm -hmm. It's something that the Lord was leading me to. Mm -hmm. And one thing about what God has, dealt, God has been dealing with me, He's been leading me to do stuff, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think that comes with the um, the patriotic, um, you know, be the patron, being mm -hmm. the the starter of something new. Patriarch. I believe that the apostolic, mm -hmm. the apostolic mantle upon mm -hmm. my life mm -hmm. allowed me to start things that has not mm -hmm. has not seen. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, with the church, with with the, what what the Lord led us to do, not knowing that it was how God literally wanted things to be, mm -hmm. and so it helps us to work together all the time. Mm -hmm. It helps us to always communicate. Mm -hmm. It helps us to always move together. Mm -hmm. It helps us always quarantine together. <laughs> we, we, we always doing things together, which helps our marriage. Yeah. Because now my wife don't want to work. She doesn't have to argue with me about be, being late out there because yeah. I'm always with her, which helps. Yes. And I enjoy being with her every minute. Yeah. I don't and have a problem. As a result, people didn't realize that it was drawing a crowd because oh, yes. most of the time you see a lot of men on a flyer and you as a young girl, you're mm. like, I'm not going to this. Yeah. But yeah. when they saw that it was a husband and wife, it actually it made worked. them more inclined to come it to programs. It worked. It worked a lot. It worked a lot because it attracted everyone. I mean, they were like, wow, this is exactly what we want to see. Mm -hmm. We've seen men on the forefront all the time. Where are the women? Mm -hmm. And so for the first time, them seeing... A strong woman with a strong man, mm -hmm. no competition. It was mm -hmm. it's a blessing, mm -hmm. and 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 to have that. And as a man, there was no need, there was no sense. There's not there was nothing in me to put my wife on the side. Mm -hmm. Like I needed her to actually be in the front here, mm -hmm. because the Lord actually revealed to me. Yes. Uh, one day, I think um, I, I had a dream, and I, yeah. I went to work. I was working at Morgan Stanley at that time, and I came home, and we we're living on 18 Connecticut Avenue, mm -hmm. and I opened the door. And I saw that you have gathered so many people in my living room. And I asked you, what are these people doing here? And one of the things that you told me is go and preach to them, go and talk to them. And so that, the Lord was revealing to me that this woman is a gatherer, number one. And so God is going to use her to attract more people to your ministry mm -hmm. that you're going to have to preach to. So it was something, but naturally I was already going to work with her. But the Lord showed me the reason why I should work with my wife because we're going to work together where she, the Lord can use her because one of the prophecies that you received before mm -hmm. that the Lord says she will, he will use your beauty to attract many. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it was, it's a grace that God has given you mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so if you are jealous or not, it doesn't really matter <laughs> because whom God has blessed, <laughs> no man can curse. <laughs> All right? Nobody can curse. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and so for me, as a husband, I need to see what, my, what is in my wife mm -hmm. to tap into. Mm -hmm. So I saw that. I'm like, no, we're going to work together. Even the days that she's tired, I'm like, babe, you're going to preach today. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to prophesy. You're going you're gonna to do this. Like, I, I need you to do that. By force. By force. Like, <laughs> let's go. Um, and so the church that we used to be, remember that Friday? Mm -hmm. I, I let you go in and you were leading powerfully. She led a powerful pr prayer session. It wasn't KFT. It was somewhere else. But, you know, and the people saw that, like, mm -hmm. wow, this girl is very, very anointed. And it started attracting younger girls, older women. It started attracting females yeah. to the ministry. Because yeah. what was happening was everyone would just be a casual church member, member. in the back. Oh, yeah. But when they started seeing that, you know, a woman who is also married and submitted under her mm -hmm, husband mm -hmm. can do the same thing mm -hmm. without fighting with her husband mm -hmm. and still being you know, pumped on by her husband, mm. I think it started encouraging more people. Yeah. 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 So, uh, men, the woman should always be here. Mm -hmm. All right? The women are favored. Mm -hmm. If you learn how to position them, they will do so much for us. Amen. God has really given us a gift in women. Amen. Amen. So, again, men, when you're choosing, make sure you don't choose a contentious wife either. Don't choose a wife who doesn't know how to smile. If you know you're in ministry... <laughs> And one of the things that needs to happen is uh, you need someone to gather. You have to have a friendly wife. 
You have to have a wife who is not too contentious all the time. There's always some type of drama around or something. And so women, we're about to get to you. You see, we're slowly walking into this thing. <laughs> and so you have to know, too, that your character precedes you. Though mm. your beauty will bring you in, your character can drive you right mm. back out. Mm. Mm. And it's mm. happened in several, several circumstances. But before we get to that as well, too, I want us to go back to 1 Samuel. Okay. And we all know the story of Hannah. Mm -hmm. And when we read the story of Hannah, we know that, you know, her womb was shut up. Mm -hmm. And we also know that Penina was there. That was the other wife mm -hmm. of her husband called Elkanah. Mm -hmm. As we were reading, one thing that I noticed is that they had to go to Shiloh to go and sacrifice. sacrifice yeah. And so I went back, get you a woman who can go back in the Bible and mm. actually look, okay, Amen. and be a woman that can actually go back and get a revelation. My goodness. But I went back into the Bible. <laughs> I went back into the Bible, and I started to look at the requirements for Shiloh when mm -hmm. you go to sacrifice. And I realized that it was, it was basically men that were required Quiet. to do so. Yep. Yep. But the beautiful thing about this that really took me was that Elkanah did not have to give his wives anything. Mm. But because he was a good husband, mm. and he's actually a portrayal of what a good husband mm. is. Not mm -hmm. the two wives, but even that, that was because mm -hmm. it was that time. Mm -hmm. but one thing that Elkanah did was he made sure he gave a sacrifice to Panina, mm -hmm. and then he also gave a double sacrifice to Hannah, Hannah. because he loved her mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And so as I was reading, the Lord said that this is what, one, what I have in a husband, thank God. Mm -hmm. And then two, this is what men should do. Mm -hmm. They should be able to, one, lead by example mm -hmm. and also bring their wife in along, yeah. along yeah. into the ministry, yeah. into whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's what Elkanah did. did. Okay. He allowed her, and that is the masculinity of a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the masculine behavior that we were talking about mm -hmm. yesterday, it's still continuing today. His masculinity was, I'm going to nurture her. Mm -hmm. I know she cannot have children at the moment, mm -hmm. and so I'll nurture her. I won't abuse her. Mm -hmm. I won't use her. Mm -hmm. I won't keep her home just mm -hmm. because, you know, she's insignificant. Mm -hmm. But I'll make her feel significant. Yeah. And so one thing that men can do as well for women is make us feel significant. Mm, mm. Take us along for the ride. Position them. Position Create us. that environment mm -hmm. so that she can thrive. She mm -hmm. can at least come along. Mm -hmm. Because there are some men that would have, you know, you stay home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. Just stay home. I, I'm the one that's been called for ministry work. Mm -hmm. Let me just be the only one in the forefront. But if you do that, you open yourself up, first of all, for attacks. Mm -hmm. You open yourself up. You, you'll be limited in the ministry mm -hmm. because Remember, you gotta know the reason why the woman is in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed to to stand in the, uh, in the, on the on, on, in the, on the flyer or in the mm -hmm. flyer with my wife mm -hmm. because that is the reason why I'm married, mm -hmm. so that I can do the work with her. Mm -hmm. So why the society created this whole thing that women need to sit in the back <coughs> and the man has to be the only one up front? Mm -hmm. That is something that I believe that this generation we are correcting. Mm -hmm. That we should go back to the original intent of how, of marriage. Mm -hmm. it's two shall become one. If mm -hmm. that is the case, everything you do, your wife should be involved. Be involved. And that alleviates a lot of the contention that is yes. there and the unspoken competition that yeah. many people try to have people, mm. you know, marriages mm. have. Mm. But you know what the Lord is telling me right mm -hmm. now? I know I'm not coming for women, so mm -hmm. today I want to be on the woman's side. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> What the Lord is saying to me right now is that sometimes the society also ra uh, br br brings up the woman mm -hmm. to a place where they are not able to take to step up. Mm -hmm. And so the way you are raised, always sit in the back, mm -hmm. always be quiet. Mm -hmm. And so when you get married now, if your husband is saying, now nah, come to the forefront, the limelight, you're like, you know what? I'm not used to this. Yeah. And so the way we're raising our daughters as well, uh, it's very important for them because if they go into somebody's life to help, mm -hmm. are, are we raising them for marriage? Are we raising them to be able to be a help to somebody? Mm -hmm. Or are they just going to be in a shadow somewhere, mm -hmm. quiet, not being influential? No. We got to also teach them that they, they, they have... They matter. Uh, they matter. Mm -hmm. And that is something that I believe for many generations it mm -hmm. changed because some of our parents 
our grandfathers never took our mothers to school. Mm. They took our uncles to school, mm -hmm. but they never took our mothers to school because mm -hmm. they felt like a woman should just be mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. So that's the mindset. Mm -hmm. But now, you see, this generation, we are changing. Women are now in school. Mm -hmm. They're getting degrees. So things are changing. They and are a higher rate of degrees, yes. actually. We, yeah. we, we also have to change. The church needs to change, too, mm -hmm. in that area. Mm -hmm. We need to go back to the original. Mm -hmm. It's not like we are doing something out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is something that God intended. Mm -hmm. He said, Adam, you need help, and I'm going to bring you a help. Mm, that's and good. where I'm taking the help from is right at this side here mm -hmm. in front of you. Mm -hmm. So make sure that that's the position of the woman in your life forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the church kind of stray away from it, but now we are coming back mm -hmm. in this generation. Mm -hmm. And I pray that if you're a minister listening, it's time for you to involve your wife in the ministry. Mm -hmm. Whatever work you are doing, it's time for you to get your wife mm -hmm. involved. And if you're a woman too, learn how to help in that area. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so in light of all this, I want us to get into the topic of femininity itself. Mm. And so when you learn what femininity is, when you learn the softness and the power in your softness as a woman, mm -hmm. you actually get treated better. Mm. And I think that sometimes, and right now, I cancel every spirit of feminism that is about to arise in the name of Jesus. Okay, <laughs> We cancel it right now. And I, <laughs> yes, I cancel it right now because I know the minute we start talking about stuff like this, there is a, a demon that stirs up in the minds of this generation. Jesus, we arrest and, them. Yes, we arrest them right now by the power of the, the spirit of God. So today we're going to talk about femininity and I want you to make sure you pack up all the traditions that you've heard, all the fe feminist banter that you've heard, all the wounded things that have went on in your life with mm, men. Mm. And I want you to start looking at things through the eyes of Christ, mm, mm. the way Christ wants you to see yourself. Jesus. Because one thing about understanding your softness, understanding your femininity, is also understanding your power. Mm. You have more power when you operate in your feminine behavior than when you try to arise as a masculine behavior mm. in the context of your relationship. Yeah. Now, I, wanna, I just want to admonish you, or enlighten you, I should say, that when you go outside of your romantic relationship, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And so all of us have to somewhat um, function in the area of our masculinity when we are outside. We have to make sure that we are functioning, you know, in a rah-rah society because it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Mm -hmm. But right now we're talking about us in the context of marriage and love. That mm -hmm. is what we're talking about mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to this... We have to understand that the more you understand yourself as a woman, again, you understand your power, you get results. Um, understanding your rights as a woman allows you to get your needs met easily. Mm. Because what happens is if I'm in my feminine behavior, mm. right, yep. it causes you to arise in your masculine behavior. behavior. Because we know that we learn in science yes. that opposite will always attract. Attract, yes. And so you are right. It, <laughs> and we, we, we are not the same we, although mm -hmm. we have the same spirit but we are, we are not the same body there, mm -hmm. there's something that is different mm -hmm. when it comes to our makeup mm -hmm. and so what attracts me to mm -hmm. you is your feminine side mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. anytime mm -hmm. you arise in the masculine side then mm -hmm. I see you as one of the guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so then I have to treat you just like mm -hmm. one of the guys and that's mm -hmm. very important that's a good point that you are making. Yes. And so, again, I silence all of you feminists because actually feminism or feminists, they're actually not of God because God created us for the man. And people hate to hear that because they think that it causes them to lose their voting rights mm. in marriage. Mm. It causes them to shut up. It causes them to have to be abused or tolerate abuse in any way when, in fact, that's actually a lie. It's mm. actually the opposite of it. I, mean, I think... Mm -hmm. I think the feminine behavior is more powerful mm -hmm. than anything. It is. This is the reason why back in the days, mm -hmm. women can cause war. Mm -hmm. The feminine behavior is mm -hmm. the thing that weakens men. Mm 
Mm-hmm. This is that is why Samson gave up mm-hmm. his secret mm-hmm. because the woman mm-hmm. showed that feminine side mm-hmm. and he became weak. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what actually the world is doing to the society, our world right now, the, mm-hmm. the society of women, mm-hmm. is they are destroying women. Mm-hmm. They are taking your power away. The thing that you had that was so powerful mm-hmm. that can turn the heart of a man mm-hmm. is what the world is telling you that right now you don't mm-hmm. need you don't need it. You just act like another man. Mm. And then, therefore, you are having broken homes. Mm-hmm. You have women that are uh, women that are stressed out, depressed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in their homes because there's always a fight. Mm-hmm. And there's so much chaos in our community and our, mm-hmm. ch- our children are suffering mm-hmm. because now the world is telling women to be just like men. Mm-hmm. But God intended for a woman to have a feminine behavior mm-hmm. to be the thing that will help the man. That's to, good. To help the man in some way, mm-hmm. to, to teach him some things. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, we don't see that. Yeah. You know, and I pray that if you're a woman, you begin to check yourself. What kind of Before behavior... Before you wreck yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. What kind of behavior am I, am I demonstrating mm-hmm. in my marriage? Mm-hmm. Is that a feminine behavior mm-hmm. or a masculine mm-hmm. behavior? And I'm glad that she's mentioned that. Mm-hmm. And so listen very carefully. You know, know the difference between a masculine behavior mm-hmm. and also a feminine behavior. Yes. You see, you have to understand that we both... Um, exude this this type of behavior. Mm. There is a masculine side of each person and there is a feminine side of each person. Mm. The goal is in marriage, you stay in your lane. Mm. When you go outside, you don't stay in your lane. Sometimes you might have to be the boss somewhere. And when you're the boss somewhere, usually you are operating in a masculine behavior mm. because men are what? They are the givers. And they are the ones who plan stuff. Yeah. They are the ones who who basically are the bosses. Like they are the head. They are aggressive in a aggressive. sense. The nature of uh, masculine nature mm-hmm. uh, is aggressive. Aggression. Yeah. yeah. So when you're being masculine women, this is what you're doing. You're actually um, doing a lot of overthinking because that is a man's job. Mm. Usually we are the ones who calculate things and we're able to have about 10 things running in our heads Mm. at the same time. Mm. And we have the grace. This is for a godly woman. We carry a grace to be able to handle it. And even when overwhelmed, we know to call on Jesus. You know, I just, you know, they had this book, Act Like Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. Yeah. I think it's the wrong title. Because why are you thinking like a man? God never calls mm-hmm. you to come and think mm-hmm. like a man. Mm-hmm. Act like a lady, think like a lady. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. we're making ladyship or mm-hmm. being a lady to be something that mm-hmm. is so weak and mm-hmm. something that is so bad. Mm-hmm. But I think now we need to revisit mm-hmm. this kind of things mm-hmm. and to know and see that the woman is very powerful. Mm-hmm. The woman is very powerful. That's she has a lot powerful. of control. Mm-hmm. I've, se- I've seen situations where it, Samson, a strong man like Samson, was well, well, lost everything because of one woman. The, mm-hmm. A whole army came after him, but they couldn't conquer him. Mm-hmm. It took just one, one woman, woman to conquer one man, this man. That an army of a nation's army couldn't conquer. Mm-hmm. That is how powerful women are. Mm-hmm. And so, anytime you take yourself, you 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 stray from your feminine your femininity or mm-hmm. your your womanhood, mm-hmm. you you are doing yourself a disfavor. Mm-hmm. Simple, mm-hmm. simple. You are doing yourself a disfavor. We need to go back to the basics and we need to allow God to use us in the areas where we have been made and mm-hmm. be called. Mm-hmm. If, you are ma- if you are made as a woman, mm-hmm. there's a reason why God made you like that. Mm-hmm. Use what you have. They always say use what you have to get what you want. But yeah. li- literally, use mm-hmm. what you have to get what you want. That's true. Because the way God has made you can give you, can, can bring so much to your life. Mm-hmm. Amen. So we, we need to learn how to to relate to our spouses in these areas. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we will talk about masculine, so so maybe that will also go for the men as well. Yeah. And so when you're being in your masculine behavior, what you're actually doing is overthinking, you're making things happen, you're advancing in things, you're nurturing, because men are nurturers. The biggest nurturer we all know is who? Jesus Christ. Mm. And so men are actually more of a nurturer than women are supposed to be. But again, we like to like twist the world and what they think and we try to put it on us. Mm. And so that makes our marriages so hard sometimes. But if you are a woman and you are operating like this, you are operating in a masculine 
um, behavior. As a result, what happens is when you, those of you who are single, listen up. When you start to act like you are a gangster and you got it together and I'm lawyer boss and I'm doctor boss and I'm this, I'm that, and what you're doing is you are now allowing the man to operate in a feminine spirit. Feminine spirit. Which causes him to lay back. And so by the time you get into marriage, what happens is you wanted to carry the case by yourself and prove that you were strong and you mm. wanted to do all this. Mm. And so when mm. you're in marriage and you see other men carrying the case for their women, you start to bother your husband. Like, why aren't you doing it? Mm. And what he'll say to you is, you've been doing it all this time. Yeah, yeah. And and it's, it's, it's a behavior thing. This is thing that baby likes. Let's say you live by yourself. Mm -hmm. you, are, you as a woman mm -hmm. have been doing mm -hmm. all yourself. Mm -hmm. But the moment you get married, mm -hmm. you need to ref you revert back to your mm -hmm. feminine mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. I remember when we first got married and sometimes go, we go in the restaurant and my mm -hmm. wife will sometimes open the door. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. babe, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to be open the door for you. Because I'm opening the door for my but life. She, you know, so she was life. programmed to do that. Yeah. But I need to tell her, listen, mm -hmm. I need, even if I'm not there, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I, want, I don't want you to rush. Just wait mm -hmm. for me to do it. Mm -hmm. Because when you go ahead and you keep doing it, and what time will come, it's like, oh, you will do it anyway, mm -hmm. so then I'm not going to do it. So then I'll revert back to the feminine behavior mm -hmm. and say, you know what, let her do it. Mm -hmm. But as a man, I should be able to take care of my wife. Mm -hmm. I should be able to open doors for my wife. Mm -hmm. I should be the one to carry the water mm -hmm. bottles and everything, take out the garbage, mm -hmm. do all the manly things that I'm supposed to do. But if you as a woman is the one that is doing it all the time, mm -hmm. it will get the man to a point where he become relaxed. Mm -hmm. And so for many, if you, if you allow your husband to be relaxed mm -hmm. because of your behavior, mm -hmm. a time will be coming that you will wish mm -hmm. that you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Because then you start complaining that you don't do anything, mm -hmm. you are too relaxed. It's because of your behavior. Mm -hmm. You were demonstrating masculine mm -hmm. behavior mm -hmm. and it caused him to revert back mm -hmm. to become feminine. In a sense, and it in his behavior, yeah. not him as a man, but the behavior mm -hmm. is, is called feminine behavior. Mm -hmm. When a man is not aggressive mm -hmm. and he relax and he stay back. Because what femi feminine behavior is, is we lay back, we receive, and we allow. Mm -hmm. This doesn't mean you tolerate stupidity and abuse. No. But it means that you, you are actually on the chill. Mm. And so what most of the time happens is it's the girl calling all the time. She's texting all the mm. time. She's being aggressive. She's trying to be his mother when he didn't ask for a mother. He asked mm. for a wife. Mm. He's trying to do, she's trying to do all these things. And so by the time she gets into marriage, men what men do a lot the masculine behavior is they hold you to exactly what you've been doing all this mm, time mm. men are very good at holding you mm. and that's why most of the time there's so much pressure for women to um you know keep their bodies right because subconsciously men really do want you to keep up the beauty they want you to get even more beautiful as time goes on and so as a result, many times you realize whatever you started in the relationship, mm. that is what will be tolerated, tolerated the whole time. It's so true. Mm -hmm. It's so true. And because men actually need a woman mm -hmm. who's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Every man wants his wife mm -hmm. to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. So talking about one of the needs of men yesterday, I'm, I had it, I'm just putting that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> man need a beautiful woman. Yeah. And so, wow. <laughs> so you gotta keep you gotta keep it nice and beauty Amen. every every day. And that, that, don't, don't take days off. Well, that, that's along the way for men, uh, because I believe that we get on you today. Amen. Um, and, and so yeah, I think I think uh, men um, women need to understand that mm -hmm. because everything that you are doing is building a foundation. As mm -hmm. we were saying, that one thing that came in my mind, I believe, is the Holy Spirit that is speaking to mm -hmm. me. Amen. Um, is that sometimes when the man is in his lowest place in life, mm -hmm. this is when women start being more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that mm -hmm. happen before. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, you meet a guy mm -hmm. and he's at his lowest. Mm -hmm. And this is an advice that I can give you to some of, some of the women, especially mm -hmm. if you're not married. Mm -hmm. And there's a tendency for the woman, because the man shared his story with the woman, mm -hmm. the woman then step into a position of his mother. Mm -hmm. And then begin to take care of him mm -hmm. and begin to be the one that is, you know, doing everything mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. And most of the time when it happens like that, when the man actually come out of that lower state and he, he's maybe lifted up, mm -hmm. he sometimes even leave the woman mm -hmm. and go and find somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And so as we were saying, you know, it becomes a turn off mm -hmm. 
because for you as a woman, you have demonstrated a masculine mm -hmm. behavior mm -hmm. by being the one that is pushing for him. Aggression. Aggression. All the time. And at that time, he will enjoy it because he's in low. Maybe he doesn't have money. Maybe he doesn't have a place to stay. So mm -hmm. you are the one that is hosting him. Mm -hmm. You are the one that is doing his homework. Mm -hmm. You are the one that is doing all those things for mm -hmm. him. And so once he's positioned on another level, when mm -hmm. he come out of that position, what happens is that he leaves and go and find somebody that he can go for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so that, we got to make sure that we are not stepping out of our, our, mm -hmm. our behaviors mm -hmm. because it will affect you at the end. Mm -hmm. right? It's true. And so most of the time when we're talking about this, the feminists arise, and then you also have the wounded men arising as well too. Those are the men who have done the things right and they've been wounded by women. And so they say things like, well, she, she needs to put, um, pay for something too. Or she needs to take me out too. And that is what a feminine man becomes. Mm. But a true masculine man, Mercy. they actually don't want to receive too much. <laughs> and you know, yesterday you mentioned something. You said that when when we went to the airport and I tried to like splurge on you. I was just com I was not He was very uncomfortable. Now, mind you, our relationship is give and give. We always give into one another. But because what the item that I was buying him was mm. totally out of the norm price range, mm. for him it was like no. And that's a masculine trait. Mm. Of course I still bought it because I I want to do that. But th that's because I'm in marriage mm. and I never initiated anything. Pastor actually sought me out for months and years and months and yes, years. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes. About five, yes. 10 years or so. <laughs> but we'll talk about the hard to get thing because there's a piece of it that's also arrogant and disrespectful and evil as mm. well, too. Mm. And so don't think that just because you're on the receiving end, it's okay for you to be disrespectful, arrogant, and nasty towards mm. a man either. And this is for married couples too. Because you know that as a woman, your right is to receive does not mean that you take your husband for granted. Mm. And that's what often happens as well, too. Many times a man in his, is in his masculine behavior and you, instead of being grateful, instead of being joyfully receiving, you become, the, I deserve this. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything. And for, for us, from, uh, from men's perspective, and let me bring, it, bring mm -hmm. that in. It is actually a turn off for us mm -hmm. when we are pushing to make you happy mm -hmm. and we don't see any happiness. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure that you are joyfully accepting the 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 on the make sure you are joyfully receiving from mm -hmm. your husband mm -hmm. or receiving from your husband mm -hmm. to be because that is what is gonna cause him to do more. Mm -hmm. And I always say that the way our relationship is with God is how it should be. Mm -hmm. God, when he does something for us, he wants us to thank him mm -hmm. and he wants us to praise him for it. Mm -hmm. So you as a woman also because if you are not, if you don't show gratitude, God is not doing anything mm -hmm. else for you. Mm -hmm. So gratitude is very, very important. Praises, Learn how yeah. to praise and thank mm -hmm. the person. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you really appreciate mm -hmm. them even buying you a cup of water, mm -hmm. buying you um, just something little. Mm -hmm. Make sure you appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a card he gave you on, on your birthday, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It will cause him to next time buy you uh, something else that you would like, mm -hmm. you know. So learn, learn to appreciate, mm -hmm. receive everything with joy, mm -hmm. and it will cause the man to do more. Yes, and remember, this is all in the context of love and marriage. Because when you go out there and you are your boss and you are the CEO and all of this stuff, you do have to operate in your masculine behavior. Mm -hmm. And so I think most of the time, that's where we get it mixed up. When God called us the weaker vessel, it was in the context of marriage. Mm -hmm. It was in the context of husband and wife. Yep. It was not in the context of how great you can be outside. And mm -hmm. so many people always say, oh, what about me? Me and you don't care about the women or so. no this is in the context of marriage mm. because you guys both all know by now that I'm very fierce when we're on the pulpit mm -hmm. business wise I'm fierce and my husband doesn't shut me down mm -hmm. but when we are husband and wife what happens is I know how to become feminine mm. aka submit mm. and that causes him to arise as a man mm. and so my complaints are very different from many women who want to be aggressive outside and inside their romantic relationships so 
feminine behavior actually mm-hmm. helped the man to be a man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because remember the, the, the dynamics, right? Mm-hmm. The woman should mm-hmm. be submitting. Mm-hmm. And submission has to be mm-hmm. by the will of the person. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm under an umbrella, I need to come under. Mm-hmm. If I have an umbrella, you need to come under it. I need to so bend. It's, it's, you need to bend and come mm-hmm. in. And so your willingness for me to lead as a man, mm-hmm. your willingness, willingness for me to be the covering. Mm-hmm. So you as a woman, that feminist behavior mm-hmm. will help me to now step up. Mm-hmm. But anytime I'm trying to step up and you mm-hmm. keep coming in with the mascul- masculine mm-hmm. behavior, it kind of pulled me back mm-hmm. because then it's like I'm trying to now force you. Mm-hmm. And that is where you start seeing abuse mm-hmm. because then I'm like, try, you, by force, by fire, you need to, you need to mm-hmm. do this. You need, and then that kind of thing begin to happen in the marriage. Mm-hmm. And so the reason why sometimes abuse also mm-hmm. happens mm-hmm. because of the contention, the, the, maybe the woman not knowing which behavior mm-hmm. to show to the husband mm-hmm. and the husband also don't know which behavior to show. Mm-hmm. And sometimes as a husband, you need to demonstrate feminist behavior. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean that you are soft, mm-hmm. but just so that you may have peace in your house. Mm-hmm. When the wife is coming with the masculine, you pull back and then asset, you know, analyze the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And then learn how to talk to her to bring her down, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. And one of the things that you know we forgot to tell you that that be, we are talking about behaviors. A man, a male, can behave both ways. Mm-hmm. You can behave as a feminine. Mm-hmm. Fe- you can have a feminine behavior, and also you can have a masculine, a masculine behavior. Mm-hmm. A female can can demonstrate two of them too: mm-hmm. a male uh, masculine behavior and a feminine mm-hmm. behavior. And so. And it, every one of us can demonstrate at any time. Mm-hmm. It's already in us. Mm-hmm. And it's not wrong to bring it out. Mm-hmm. There are times that you need it, and there are times that you, you may not need to demonstrate those kind of behaviors. Mm-hmm. And so let's, you know, don't make it, don't make it feel like, oh, I'm being soft mm-hmm. as a man. I'm being weak. Listen, every man, some, most of the time, you get soft. Mm-hmm. When you want to sleep with your wife, you got to get soft. You mm-hmm. got to bring that feminine behavior to mm-hmm. sweet talk her. Mm-hmm. That is not masculine. Mm-hmm. That is me trying to get what I want. So I need to drink myself down mm-hmm. and talk to my wife in a way that she will love, you know, sweet talk and all that, mm-hmm. so that she can also allow me to come in mm-hmm. the same way. So you, you demonstrate it anyway, mm-hmm. and so learn when to bring it out and learn when not to bring it out. Mm-hmm. You know, don't come in the house and say, oh, you know, I'm the father, and you start talking to the, kid, the kids anyway. They will start disrespecting you. Mm-hmm. Learn how to calm down. You know, when you are at work and you are, you know, you have... You have people working under you. You can command them and do all that. When you come home, you find ways to reach everybody. Mm-hmm. And that behavior sometimes is what we call feminine behavior, mm-hmm. where you become very kind of understanding mm-hmm. and, and, and not too much um, control over the woman, too much control over the children. Mm-hmm. But you calm down and you begin to understand each other mm-hmm. and it will, it will work. You know? So we need to, um, you know, don't, if you're a man listening, don't say that, oh, this feminine thing, it's not for me and all that. It is for you. God put it there for a reason yeah. so that you can help bring your family up mm-hmm. in the place that it should be. And so femininity is not an excuse for you to tolerate bad behavior from men. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to suck it up. And it's not an excuse for someone to abuse you. Mm-hmm. And I think, again, that is the myth behind submission and behind femininity. Mm-hmm. It does not mean that because abuse, God does not want anyone to abuse you. Yeah. And so because that is the mindset that everyone has that has been given by the world, we just hate when we talk about this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so it's just... It, it, Anytime people talk about this kind of stuff, it can go left very easily Mm. because people don't like to hear about this kind of stuff because men need to arise and be men. And then women also need to arise and be women. Mm. And Mm. once you have that balanced equilibrium, Mm. you realize that your marriage flows. Remember, this is all in the context of marriage. Marriage. This doesn't mean that when you go into your office and there's another male there, you allow him to talk to you anyhow or yeah. come over you. No. If you are boss there, you are boss there. But once you come home, you take off your masculine behavior and you enter into your feminine behavior. And that is the, that is the reason why most influential and um, powerful women don't have spouses mm. because they operate in their masculine behavior all day long. Mm. 
and you will end up by yourself. I don't care what kind of nurse, doctor, lawyer, um, business, CEO, whatever you are. I don't care what you are. When you come home in the context of your romantic relationship, you need to learn how to become feminine. Mm. And that means receiving. That means falling back. That means learning how to be joyful while you appreciate. That means smiling more. Because some of you guys don't smile. Oh, Jesus. Message. It's very important. You don't know how far a smile can go. That's one of our softness that we have. Our smile can actually attract a man to us. Our smile can actually attract our husbands back to us. And so you have to make sure that every day your face is not stone cold. He didn't mm. make you fearfully made. He made you the beautiful part. Mm. And so you have to now tap into your femininity. Mm. I don't care who you are. When you come home, you are no longer the CEO. Oh, but you are the the wife of you know the toilet cleaner. Mm, mm. That's how that's it the goes. Truth. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. As you were saying, you know, it, it took me back to Christ, and mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to believers. So anytime we can make reference to the mm -hmm. to, to Christ, mm -hmm. and Jesus was a lamb, and also a lion, mm -hmm. operating in two different opposite behaviors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sometimes Jesus had to present himself mm -hmm. as a lamb mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he has to present himself as a mm -hmm. lion. Mm -hmm. And most of the time we will see his lionic nature mm -hmm. outside more mm -hmm. against the devil. Yep. But when with it's us, true. he has patience mm -hmm. with us. He, mm -hmm. How many of you have, have said, Lord, forgive me something that you keep committing mm -hmm. the same sin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to even get to this level? Mm -hmm. the, you understand? But Christ had patience with you. That was a lamb kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the lion. Mm -hmm. And so the same way we are like Christ... We have, can behave different ways. He's El Shaddai, the, the, the double-breasted Breast God. God. Yep. A lamb and a lion. Mm -hmm. A lion is very aggressive, mm -hmm. and a lamb is very calm. Mm -hmm. And this is one person we are mm -hmm. talking about. And so you also can operate with such behaviors, mm -hmm. learn which one to be. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. learn when to be the lamb, and mm -hmm. when, learn when to be the lion. Learn mm -hmm. when to be the, have the feminine behavior, and learn how, when to have the masculine behavior. Yeah. Because I, I, I always say, people, people in Buffalo, when I used to go to school, mm. they really are confused how I'm somebody's wife. Because mm. all they got was masculine energy all, all their the lives. Like, my behavior was all because that's just who I was. And then you came, and now they're I like, what? I swept her off the, her feet. Off my masculine feet. feet. And she's like, <laughs> and so, oh, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you see what that does it creates it creates a better bond and we'll continue mm. talking about it mm, mm, mm. and so you don't have to be weak to a certain extent you have to be in your marriage mm. you have to be you have to learn when to pick your battles because not every battle is meant to be fought mm. you have to know when to get rowdy sometimes and when just to say babe it's okay mm. and you see when you learn your feminine side so well, you realize that the Holy Spirit is even closer to you. Mm. Because what happens is now you are My obeying goodness. the laws of the kingdom. Jesus. And so the Holy Spirit will come and say, what did your husband do to you today? Let me go enforce him. Let me go um, convict his spirit right now. And you don't have to do it. All you have to do is lay back and enjoy the ride. And before you know it, your husband will come and apologize to you because now you and the Holy Spirit have become joint partners. Mm, Instead mm. of you and a masculine behavior that is not meant for you, and now you are arising an even masculine behavior in him. And so he sees man to man. And so every day you're saying that, oh, my husband doesn't love me and this and that. But one thing I'll tell you is that Women who operate in their masculine behavior, mm. they will get respected but not cherished. Mm. And, and talking about the Holy Spirit, the Bible said that he made the woman, he said that I'll make you a help mm -hmm. mate. So the woman was, caught, was made to help. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus was leaving us, mm -hmm. he said, I will send the helper, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So the same word that was used for the woman to be the help was the same word that was used mm -hmm. for the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. be the help. Mm -hmm. So that means that the Holy Spirit and mm -hmm. the woman behave mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit is a very quiet, mm -hmm. gentle spirit. Mm -hmm. and he gets his points across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He influences mm -hmm. us more than anything mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. So that is the power of a woman. Mm -hmm. You don't need to shout. Mm -hmm. But you can get your things work. You can get things going. You know what I'm saying? When the Holy Ghost gets grieved, 
you know, it's a dangerous thing for Holy mm -hmm. Ghost to be grieved. Mm -hmm. And so you will do everything to make sure you fix that mm -hmm. kind of problem. When mm -hmm. your wife get quiet, mm -hmm. that's the worst. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, we have women that will be always yabby, yabby, yabby. And we have women that will move into their feminine behavior mm -hmm. and get quiet. For me, as a husband, when my wife get quiet, Charlie, it's not I, a feel good like, thing. I feel like the world is about to end. <laughs> Just quietness can just shut everything down in my house. So, you know, I try but to come and fix it. But when I get rowdy, that's when Pastor ignores me, actually. Yeah, when she get rowdy, then we all. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So for me, her softness is what gets me to do what I need mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when she gets like that, it actually works more for me mm -hmm. than if she was arguing with me. Me, I like to argue. We will mm -hmm. argue for days. But she will not give me that. Because because she she gotta she gotta demonstrate don't got the time <laughs> she gotta demonstrate the feminine part yes. of her mm -hmm. and so it actually helps me then I need to check myself what am I doing mm -hmm. and then it provoked me to also enter into a level where I need to calm down so mm -hmm. I'm moving to my feminine behavior mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and then learn how to approach her mm -hmm. nicely mm -hmm. and talk to her mm -hmm. and then bring her back up mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. and that's my responsibility as a man mm -hmm. to make sure that every time my wife is going or is mad or something mm -hmm. happened. I need to find out why. Mm -hmm. Don't say that every time you are mad. No. You as a man have a responsibility mm -hmm. to know what is happening to your wife. Mm -hmm. That is number one responsibility of mm -hmm. us, man. Mm -hmm. We need to know what is going on in our families. Mm -hmm. We need to know we are responsible. Mm -hmm. We need to be the one checking up on her. All right? Mm -hmm. Making sure that, you know, the Bible said that Jesus will, never, will not come for a wrinkled church. Mm -hmm. The bride will not be wrinkled. Mm -hmm. And so you as a husband... You got to make sure that all the wrinkle that is mm -hmm. on your wife is it's straight. Up. Yeah. So that it's because she is your glory. Mm -hmm. She will, she, you, Jesus, the Bible said that we will, Jesus will remove all the wrinkle for himself. Yes. So the church will be for him. Mm -hmm. And so what Jesus is doing is really fix the church mm -hmm. for himself. Mm -hmm. The same way we as husbands need to fix the woman for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Once you are married and there's issues going on, Learn, that is your place as a man. Mm -hmm. Learn how to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore the problem. Mm -hmm. Don't say that, oh, she'll be fine. No. Mm -hmm. Get in there, find out, let her know that you care for the family. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that women need is security in their family, to make sure that your family is secure. Mm -hmm. Commitment from the man. Mm -hmm. So commitment of family. You as a man being committed to the family is one of the biggest need of mm -hmm. a woman. Mm -hmm. When they see that, wow, my husband is committed to make sure that I'm fine, mm -hmm. to make sure that the children are fine. That helps a woman. Mm -hmm. And so don't ignore the wrinkles. Don't ignore the anger. Don't ignore the emotional things. All those things are there for you as a man to be able to work on. Mm -hmm. All right? Because like I re we read here, he said that he sanctified the wife mm -hmm. and cleans, cleans her mm -hmm. with the water by the word. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Mm -hmm. The water by the word. Mm -hmm. That means that we should have words in our mouth that can calm you, you down. Be a, uh, you should be flowing. Yes. All the time. When your wife is mad at somebody, what word can you give her to bring her to a place as a Christian? To calm her down. Even when your wife is even mad at you, do you have a word for her? Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is continually mm -hmm. washing us mm -hmm. with his word. Mm -hmm. So we also should be also have a good word to say to our wives, mm -hmm. especially the word of God. Mm -hmm. As a man, do you actually know the word to give to your mm -hmm. wife? Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, I remember when we, 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 I think when we got married and I was working at, at RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland, and one day I was talking to you and you were having an issue with somebody, mm -hmm. right, at that time. And I believe I spoke to you and I gave you a scripture. Mm -hmm. And one thing about the word of God is once you release it, hey, it works. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we talk about, babe, you got to do this. Mm -hmm. This is what the Lord is saying mm -hmm. in the word. And I was able to put the word to her. Mm -hmm. And I guess, the, you know, she was a woman of God. So I'm sure the, the Lord was dealing with her mm -hmm. by the word that I released. And the next thing that she called me, that she actually called the person and, and fixed whatever needed to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm making my wife a better person mm -hmm. by knowing what word to release to her mm -hmm. anytime she's, you know, wrinkled up mm -hmm. a little bit. And so 
That is our responsibility. No matter how anointed your wife is, mm -hmm. you still have a she's still a woman. Mm -hmm. You have work to do. Mm -hmm. You need to always make sure that she's well. Mm -hmm. she, she'll be emotional some days. She'll be tired some days. Mm -hmm. She'll get frustrated. As Christ All those loves things. the As church. Christ loves the, the church. The church is full of ups and downs, downs, in and outs, crazy, non-crazy, all of that. And so if you are Christ in this situation, you have to know the roller coaster Coasters. of a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So we it's our response. It's a it's a project, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a work. Mm -hmm. Marriage is work. Mm -hmm. Don't come in married and think that it's all about the sex. Mm -hmm. It's work. You need to be working on your wife mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that the two shall become. He said, for this purpose, a man shall leave mm -hmm. his father mm -hmm. and his mother mm -hmm. and, and join with his wife. And he said that, and the two shall become what? One. Mm -hmm. That word become means that you got to work. You are becoming. Mm -hmm. It's not like you became. You becoming. The two shall become. Mm -hmm. It's present continuous. You every day you are becoming it, mm -hmm. and so you got to be working on your wife every day to get her to a point where she, you know you know that okay, wow, this is my project. Mm -hmm. This I've done this. All and this we beauty. also have a project in the man yeah. too as well. Yeah, too. but today we yeah. wanna. I want to make sure that the men are working. <laughs> I want to make sure that the men are working. Amen. You can say, wow, what a beautiful woman. Amen. That I I bought this. I do this. Then you take pride in that yeah. as a man. Know that this is your mm -hmm. handiwork. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you see all of this in the context of marriage, it allows you to win as a woman. And most of the time, women don't like to explore this feminine behavior because we've been taught that it makes you a doormat, it makes you this, it makes you that. No, you can still be the president of the United States of America and still come home and submit in your feminine behavior. Oh, yes. It's okay. You know. To a good man. Knowing that is why marriage, you need to do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. The reason why most people are struggling, they never did the background to check the kind of person they were marrying. And so, what marriage demands, they are not able to provide or mm -hmm. fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a lot of work. Before you get into it, mm -hmm. make sure that you do some background check, mm -hmm. make sure you take your time, make mm -hmm. sure you pray. Mm -hmm. Because it would demand submission, mm -hmm. it would demand love, mm -hmm. it would demand a lot of things mm -hmm. that you need to do. And so don't get in blindly and say, you know what, I think I'm the age of 35, no man is coming, so any Jakusko man that come, you say, eh, this is my husband. And I'll give a few pointers later on on how exactly they should pick their men. Mm, okay, that would be good. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. And so, excuse me. And so there are many truths that men um, can have towards one another. But if they address it, mm. let's say this is where men have to really learn what feminine behavior is. Mm. The way you talk to other men, men are very direct with one another. Mm. Women are very direct with one, one another. another. Yep. But when you are talking to me... The way you just said something to another mm, man, that's a no -no. That's <laughs> you a cannot line. say <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say that to your wife. And so wrong. most men, where they get it wrong as well too, is they bring the masculine outside, inside, and they forget that they have a feminine in here, Ooh. and they think that that's another masculine. And so they start getting rowdy. Today was a bad day at work, and sit down and leave me uh, alone. Yeah, that kind of behavior, <laughs> that kind of behavior can get you no, no, no you sex. know, no, no sex, sex at yes. night. At, yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah. And then it can also deter you from your prayers going up. Remember, anytime you offend the wife, anytime you offend your wife, Ooh. the Bible states that your prayers will not make it to heaven. Mm. They are hindered. And so you have a responsibility as a man to always make sure that the way I just approached a brother or my homeboy is not the same way I approach my wife mm. because she's different material. Mm. Mm. You must understand that. And if you even look into your parents or other people's relationships that were kind of turbulent, you'll realize that the father always came in with aggression. And that's what mm. you were saying, that, mm. you know, fathers will come in and they'll get aggressive with their kids even. Yeah. Like, sit down. I just came from work. I'm tired. I'm yeah. this and that. We didn't ask you all that. Mm. Mm. We're just happy to see you. Yeah, yeah. So that that is... 
learning what to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, they are saying if you're a CEO at work, make sure mm -hmm. you take that hat mm -hmm. off and put a hat off a husband mm -hmm. and a hat off a father mm -hmm. when you enter the house. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, uh, the, the way God actually uh, see men, how mm -hmm. men should be, mm -hmm. is to have the right word mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. All right? Men mm -hmm. always should have the right words mm -hmm. to say. And that is why it's very important to find somebody who knows the word. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Somebody who knows the word to know what kind of words I can give to my wife. Which was extremely important to me. Yeah. Extremely important to me. Yeah. Because I figured, I, I'm a Bible thumper, as they say. Mm. I love the word of God. I love the presence of God. And so I couldn't have somebody that I had to drag along. I needed somebody who knew way more than I did. And it helps. Mm -hmm. Knowing the word will help you in your marriage. Yeah. Because some days, you know, we may be arguing about something. Mm -hmm. All I need to do is maybe release a scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All my wife made the mm -hmm. okay, the scripture here. And then you, you're going to now, you're dealing with God now. It's not even you talking to your wife. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with the word of God mm -hmm. now. You're dealing with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so the word of God will help you in your marriage. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will help you to avoid many arguments. Mm -hmm. and because once, oh, this is what God is saying. So, mm -hmm. uh, all right, you, you deal with that. Mm -hmm. And God mm -hmm. will deal with you when, when the word is released. So mm -hmm. God actually... See the man, the qualification of a husband mm -hmm. is how much word you can give to your wife. Mm -hmm. How much mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. and, and I know we talk about women mm -hmm. uh, today, but how much word you as a husband can give to your wife? Mm -hmm. And how much word do you as a woman have in you to, mm -hmm. to you know, where it messes Ooh, up sometimes? Powerful. Sometimes, you know, some people are so empty. So mm. empty mm. that when you give them the word, it doesn't do anything to mm. them because I never mm. knew the word in mm. the first place. Mm. Mm. I always say the reason why most people catch the Holy Ghost at church is because they've encountered God probably that morning. And when they came to church, the same word, because the spirit is one, the same word came. Mm. And so when they hear that, the emotions just go crazy like mm. Did God just speak to me personally? Mm, mm, mm. And the Holy Spirit brings things into remembrance. Yeah. The word remembrance means you had to have it in you, you. for me to bring it out yeah. of you. Yeah. And so most of the time, the issue is a man who knows the Lord will go and find a woman who doesn't know the Lord. You call her Jacuzco sister. A Jacuzco sister. You'll give her the word <laughs> and it will not ignite anything in oh, her. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's yes. like, what are you saying? I don't yeah. care what, yeah. what you're saying. And, and, and it's amazing. And mm -hmm. some of the people, um, because the woman has the ability to incubate, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. if she can absorb the word, mm -hmm. she will bring out good things mm -hmm. out of her. Mm -hmm. All right? But most of the time, if the woman don't have the heart for the Lord, even when you say it's like mm -hmm. you are telling some story, yeah. and she's not able to accept the engrafted word, the mm -hmm. Bible said the engrafted word, which mm -hmm. is able to save your soul, mm -hmm. She's not able to incubate the word in her. They'd be like, Abraham who? Jacob yeah. what? Holy Spirit To be Spirit able to where? bring out yeah. the woman in her, the, the greatness in her. Mm -hmm. Because in the word that enters, because the woman is able to incubate, she'll bring out something mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Because like we said, when you release a sperm to a woman, she'll bring out a baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You give her a, home, a house, she'll make it a home for you. Mm -hmm. Women have the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. Buy some groceries, she'll make some meal for you. Mm -hmm. She, they carry that. That's a woman. And so if you give a woman a headache, like you are in trouble. And so the reason why your wife is acting that way is a sign that it's, it shows me what you've been putting in her mm -hmm. as, a, as a husband. Mm -hmm. the, things you've been, the, the things you've been putting in your wife is the reason why she's behaving the way mm -hmm. she's behaving. They're incubators. Yes. And so I think if us. we change our ways, going back to responsibilities, mm -hmm. man, we are the ones responsible mm -hmm. to make sure that the family mm -hmm. is running well. You, don't bl you can't put that on the woman. Mm -hmm. You need to find a way to fix your marriage. Mm -hmm. If there's something going on wrong, you need to find a way to fix it. Mm -hmm. Because... You are the initiator. And because of what you've been putting in the woman. Mm -hmm. All right? So it's good to talk about. Some, there are some people that don't talk about sex, but mm -hmm. they are married. Mm -hmm. Listen... Learn to talk about all these things. Mm -hmm. If you didn't like it last night, let your wife know. Let your mm -hmm. husband know. Mm -hmm. There are things that you need to start sharing, but this is for, this is for grown folks. Mm -hmm. And so if you are listening to me and you are not married, just do this. Cover your, <laughs> Cover ears. your ears, all right? Mm -hmm. But these are things that help because, they are, you know, you can have a marriage where the sex is not that well mm -hmm. and the man is just chilling. Mm -hmm. No, find out. You step up as a man. Mm -hmm. Talk to the woman. 
Find out what is happening, why you are not being attracted. And you know what I mean? And then make sure that is fixed. Mm -hmm. Don't allow anything to come in between your marriage to, to destroy the marriage. Mm -hmm. Because at the end, the Lord will definitely question you for that. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. And so when we're talking again about masculine and feminine, again, the men are the givers. And this doesn't mean that when we get into marriage, I never give, I never buy, I don't do nothing. No, I'm the helpmeet. I'm supposed to do all of yeah. that. I'm the one who takes everything he has, I receive it, and you make I compute out. it, and then I birth out something yep. for him. Yep. Yep. And so when pastors like, you know, death and resurrection is coming up, I'm like, you know, we're going to have a whole week program. This is what oh, we're going to do. What this a blessing. Do. All you need to tell her. <laughs> All you need to just say. Like a computer. Yeah. And that is the help that God will say. Be able to share your, your vision with the woman. Mm -hmm. Once you say it, she mm -hmm. has the ability to make it happen. She will make it a reality for you. Mm -hmm. But the ability to give it to her mm -hmm. so that she can make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know, but men don't like to talk, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about it another time. But yeah. we need to learn how to communicate to these women that the Lord has given us because, listen, I know your business, you want to be the one running the whole thing, mm -hmm. but if you bring that woman into that business, you see how far you go in that You're business. You're going to get a million dollars first year. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If so, she's a good woman. Even with your career, she will help you out. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, this is, we should come up with a strategy. And once you tell a woman your strategy, your plan, you, are no, you know she's going to remind you of it. We're so, like computers. Yeah. The minute you tell me something, I process it. I'm like, do, 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 do. got my outfits ready, got your outfits oh, ready, got see? everything ready. We we just on it this whole week. And that is why he said, I when, want to talk about when you love. are traveling with a woman, yeah. you know they already know what they're going to wear for the whole month. Yeah. But you as a man only know one the one the, mm -hmm. the one that you are wearing today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that should tell you that man, if you disregard your woman, mm -hmm. you are in trouble. Mm -hmm. learn how to bring that woman here mm -hmm. in this position mm -hmm. here and get her involved mm -hmm. in your life. All right? And so that's why most women end up saying, you know, what about me and my vision and my dreams and this and that and that. Think Pink, the conference, this was something that I've known. I've always had this pink mentality in the back of my head. I just didn't have a man to be pink with. Mm. That was all. Mm. And so that was my vision. And so when we came together, I submitted my vision under his vision. And works. therefore, Think Pink is under Kingdom Full Tabernacle. Mm. As a result, when we both have the when we have the conference, it's both of us there. We're mm. both doing it. And I was even telling him that, you know, if this year, if I don't get nobody, you are the guest speaker. Because at you know, this point, we, we roll together. That's how it should be. The, 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 the bringing the visions together, mm -hmm. right? The woman can always find mm -hmm. her, her, her purpose under the man's vision. Mm -hmm. That is how God has made it. Stop with this 2020 mindset. Yeah. Stop. Stop. The woman can always find herself. Nonsense. Now, within this ministry, this is a, this is a mm -hmm. big ministry, mm -hmm. look what she can birth out. She mm -hmm. can do more. She can do arc of women, arc of the, everything. Mm -hmm. And she has an umbrella over her mm -hmm. that will support her vision. Mm -hmm. Throughout. But imagine if she wants to go on her own. Now, women will not even respect you as much if you go and talk to my bank. Where's your husband? Mm -hmm. They will ask that question. How right? you single trying to sell me a marriage something? You understand? Sit so, down. It, so see yeah. what marriage will do mm -hmm. when we both come together. She's helping May God me. speak for you. If you have a marriage ministry inside of you, may the Lord give you a husband so you can actually speak it and have proof, evidence mm. that God is with you in your marriage. Amen. 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 That's a prophetic word, by yes. the way. Yes. <laughs> See, I receive it. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, you know, learning how to bring your vision. So once we submit and mm. when we follow God's order mm. and God's word, we, we would never be proven wrong. Mm. It's always positive at the end. Mm. That's good. And so don't think that, oh, so what if I submit? What is going to happen? Mm -hmm. You are submitting and you are obeying mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. God wants you to submit, so you submit. Mm -hmm. God wants you to love, so you love. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go a woman today, man. But God wants you <laughs> to love, so you love. Love your wife no mm -hmm. matter what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Love that woman, whether she's cooking or not. You mm -hmm. keep loving. Mm -hmm. God will be the one that will deal with her for mm -hmm. you. Amen. God will always fight for you when you have obeyed him. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. But there go. I know there's a lot of single people here. Don't just marry to marry because, like mm -hmm. I said, it comes with work. Imagine if I had a wife that I had to be pulling. 
We wouldn't be here. Right? We wouldn't be here. Within five years, once we got married, the ministry, I didn't have to pull my wife. She was already equipped to come in there and push this thing. Mm -hmm. So when we got together and we, we registered the thing, she's like, babe, let's go. Mm -hmm. And I was ready. She pushed like, yeah, we ready to go. And then look what God has done within mm -hmm. five years. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, if I, I had to go and pull somebody, mm -hmm. guess what is being delayed? Their destiny. Mm. I hope y'all sending this to your booze, your wives, your wives to be, your girlfriends. Make sure they watch it from the beginning all the way to the end, okay? Make sure you send it to them. Um, if you just got the link, that's because we told them to send it to you, okay? Yeah. All right? <laughs> you, would, you will be delayed in destiny. Mm -hmm. So uh, because the work that comes in, because once you marry the woman, then you are forced to love her. Mm -hmm. her love her. You are commanded to. It's a command. It's not by choice. It's, it's by command. You, mm. The Lord said, do it. Do it. So marriage comes to you being commanded to love, mm -hmm. whether you are, whether the person looks good or not, whether mm -hmm. the, you 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 like the person or not. The fact that you're married to her, you're supposed to love her. Mm -hmm. See, this is getting too good. I think we have to end it soon because think pink. Oh, it's ten o'clock. Yeah. You're supposed to end at ten today. Yeah, but I'll give just a few more things and then we'll wrap it up. So, um, if you're giving, you are in your masculine. Just so you understand, if you are giving, you are in your masculine. Especially those of you who are now about to start dating or in a relationship, you're courting to marry and all of that. You got to be careful. And you as the man have to learn how to set the tone. Let me protect you. Let me provide for you. And I want to tell you that you know that money is the lowest form of giving. Mm. Money is actually the lowest form of giving. And so I think anytime when we say give, people think it's money. Money is the lowest form of giving. Time, effort, gifts, security, ideas, plan, covering, protection, that is what your woman needs from you. Mm. And that is what you need to be looking for when you get a man. Mm. Mm. And I'll repeat that one more time. Um, time, effort, gifts, security, ideas, plans, covering, and protection. That is what every man needs to be giving to a woman in the beginning stages all the way till thy kingdom come when you marry her. And that brings me to another point, mm -hmm. something that I had to learn myself through my marriage. Mm -hmm is that the woman needs honesty and openness, guys. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Mm -hmm. Most of the problems will be solved if mm -hmm. the woman knows what's going on mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please remember this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Share your life mm -hmm. with the woman. Mm -hmm. Tell her your plans. Tell her every move. Mm -hmm. Tell her everything. She, mm -hmm. she, she needs that. That security is important. She needs that. Mm -hmm. It's like she don't want to feel like she's living with a stranger. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else that should know more of you mm -hmm. than your wife. So if you've been talking to even your own parents, that is not how God ordained it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Your wife needs to know more of you than every woman, any my woman. My mom doesn't tolerate me. I don't think I've ever complained about you in all honesty mm. to my mom mm. because she's so wise. She's like, don't. Mm. I don't want to hear it mm. unless it's the extreme. She does not want to hear you it. See? And a wise, and let me tell you guys, if your mother or your whoever is very wise, when marital issues come up, they will never side with you. Mm. They will always side with your spouse. Because as for you, you're their child. And that goes for the men and that goes for the women. And so if you have a mother that if you go and complain to about your wife or your husband, if they side with you, don't tell them anymore. That is because they will break up your marriage. It's a recipe for a divorce. disaster. Yeah, yeah. They, will, they will now step into your marriage and break you up. Your parents always have to side with the other person. Mm -hmm. And even when it comes to spiritual parents, I remember Pastor Sam, he sided with you mm. for every single mm. thing. Mm. And I used to side on him like, ain't I your <laughs> daughter? But he made me understand you will always be my daughter. Oh, my yes. mom makes me understand you will always be my daughter, no matter what. Even it's if so you true. get mad, you're going to be my daughter. It's so true. I think my spiritual mother did the same thing. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. man. Like, like, you know, she even though she felt like maybe I may be right, but mm -hmm. she still would not side mm -hmm. with me. Like, I need, like, I had to come and 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 approve what she wanted me mm -hmm. to do. So, you know, it, it's better that way because mm -hmm. one, if she start pulling on my side, then it's like then she I be, she become a team to fight her. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. by the time I realize, now you have a second person in your marriage. And most people who a do that, person. their marriages are bad. Yeah. And so yeah. they're like, oh, you're not about to go through the same thing I'm going through. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. 
And be so, honest. yeah, women need mm-hmm. that. They, they need, a woman will need mm-hmm. you to be honest with her, mm-hmm. number one. It, it, it shows mm-hmm. your, it makes her trust you. Mm-hmm. Don't be lying to your wife. Mm-hmm. If you say that I'll be here, mm-hmm. I'm at work, I'm at school, mm-hmm. wherever you are, mm-hmm. make sure you tell her exactly what is going on. Mm-hmm. It helps her to develop trust for you. And she sure. needs you to be open. Openness is the key. And men, mm-hmm. we were made to be quiet. Mm-hmm. We were made to just figure it out by ourselves. Mm-hmm. And so it's hard for us to open ourselves. Mm-hmm. And so one of the things that we need to learn from this class or that we are in right now <laughs> is for us to learn to open up mm-hmm. ourselves. Mm-hmm. Tell her the kind of investment you want to do. Tell her what, what you want to do, what you want to do with the family. Mm-hmm. Just tell her. Everything. Everything. We're here to take in, compute, and birth. Yes. And one of the things now that, you know, we talk about women, I think that can also help us mm-hmm. is at least get closer. Mm-hmm. Get closer to us. Mm-hmm. Sometimes go, to, go, go, go on a walk with him. Mm-hmm. Sometimes go and run with him. Mm-hmm. Get to do the things that he mm-hmm. wants to do. Mm-hmm. Men tend to talk more. About when, what they like. And when we are doing things that we and like. that's why I know so much about basketball now. Right? Mm-hmm. We, we talk more. When we, go to, when we go to the gym... <laughs> That's what we want to talk. Yeah. When we, you know, those things, when we running, that's what we want to talk. Mm-hmm. So when, you, when you're when doing those things, go on the back ride with your husband. Mm-hmm. When you are doing those, you're able to put all those information. Mm-hmm. He's able to tell you a lot. Mm-hmm. And don't just, when they come home with this person is here, that, no. If you get, get, get closer so that he can talk as well, mm-hmm. I think it will help. Because mm-hmm. remember, our nature is to be quiet. Mm-hmm. So if you leave us alone, <laughs> we'll be quiet and, and live in this blank, empty box mm-hmm. where we can stay there for hours mm-hmm. and not say anything. Mm-hmm. But you as a woman also can pull that out of us. Mm-hmm. And so please, sometimes help us out mm-hmm. and let us be able to talk to you as mm-hmm. well. Yes. So money is the lowest form of giving, but time, effort, gifts, security, ideas, plans, covering, and protection are different ways a man can give to you. And so those Mm. are things that you have to make sure that if you're entering into a relationship, someone has asked you for your hand in marriage, these are things that you have to know. But do you know the highest form of giving for a man? Mm. The highest form that you can give me as a man is to cherish and adore me. Mm, that goes and back to the scriptures. That's the, the love scriptures. part. Yep, that's scripture. The cherishing mm-hmm. and adoring. Mm-hmm. That's love. You mm-hmm. adore, you love in your wife. That is the best gift you can give to her. That's what feminine women want. Mm. And the masculine ones, they, don't want they get respected. And so I will respect you. And so you will probably end up respecting me, but you'll never love me. And so every day, I'm like, why is her husband hugged up on her and doing all these things? But my husband is like, hello, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, your man, uh, how was work? Good? All right. Yeah, okay. it's such a platonic relationship. Listen, because females of these have the ability to yeah. initiate a lot of things. Yeah. Y'all got y'all got moves, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One look and go can get a man like you know. I'm ready to fight for this. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. So when a woman enter into a feminine, yes, you know, nature, it attracts to it, it's attracted to a man. And so in this society, I want to be equal partners. And I don't want to be equal with my no, husband. No, no, no. I'm a stay. Everybody stay in your name. I, I think <laughs> I think the woman naturally have more power than the man. Yeah, initially. Mm-hmm. So now that you want to be equal, so you want to be more powerless. Mm-hmm. You want to come to my level. Mm-hmm. All right, so go and pick up the mm-hmm. pick up the water bottle. Mm-hmm. Keep pick up the water. Go mm-hmm. and pick up. Go and do this. Open your own door. Mm-hmm. And now you have a generation that they, they don't care because mm-hmm. we are the same. So mm-hmm. nobody, you're not going to receive the love that you want mm-hmm. because now you want to be on the same level as mm-hmm. me. You have women playing sports and 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 looking like men now, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. another thing. And Which so, is not a crime to play the sports, but after you see, because the sport is so aggressive, they leave there with the masculinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they come home and they forget. They forget that they are women. And so, just a few <laughs> like, like yo, basketball yo, yo. players and <laughs> soccer players that are females actually have a solid husband and some children yeah. because they understood it. And yeah, you can. And when you see that, you can see you the can feminine see the part, right? and yeah. then you have ones that are. <laughs> and so ladies when you are actually in your feminine this is things to consider when you are being approached by a man mm. and if you are married these are things that you need to now start to identify in your husband 
And that is, one, does he meet my needs? Because when you become feminine, now you realize I'm supposed to be given things, right? Again, it's not just money. But his time, he now needs to give me some of his time. Mm. And so um, is he meeting my needs? And you can usually pick this up month one. You can usually pick this up year one. You can always ask somebody within the first year, is he meeting your needs? They're, no, he's not. Yes, he is. It's very easy. Yeah. And then also, does he cherish and adore you? You see, my husband has a way. He knows when I get rah-rah, because sometimes I just have to, unfortunately. I don't know. When I get up there, he knows how to just squish me with his words, with his big arms. He knows how to just calm me down again. I'll just and do it. I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> And so, and so he knows how to calm me down because he knows that makes me laugh. And so that's another thing. Does he cherish and adore you? Mm. And then does he pull out your feminine? Because remember, we're in a masculine world. Mm. And so sometimes you will forget. You will end up like, you know, on your high masculine horse. But then when you see him, I shared a story today. Um, where pastor came to pick up my things from Buffalo. Oof. That was work. <laughs> that was a manly job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was a straight masculine traveling. I went to Buffalo, <laughs> and I said, I'm going to move all your stuff and bring you to Connecticut. And guess what? There was no truck for me. Yeah. To, for me to rent. And I'm like, I'm stuck here. What am I supposed to do? But the Lord opened the door for me at the last minute, and we packed everything. He put yeah. everything in the car, and I literally saw him drive off, and I was just And like, then I left there, because she had to go to work that day, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I was come home later. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, you have no choice now but to come home. You have no clothes there. So, you know, and that, I was used to being in a masculine behavior, because I, I do everything myself after college. I've been paying my own everything, working in all types of jobs and all of this stuff. And so I was used to that. And so even... When we got married and we are about to have our white wedding because we do a traditional one, it was like, babe, do you want to move here? And he had to tell me, no, we're Buffalo. moving to Connecticut and you are coming Buffalo. with me. It will not work. <laughs> and so homeboy literally drove <laughs> and he was like, hey, I'm here. I'm coming to get your stuff. And I remember being so shocked to see that all my belongings in life was in a truck moving back. Mm. to that side of town. And I sat there and I said, wow, he knows how to bring the woman out of me. Mm. And so it's very important when you are, and also men, can she bring out the masculine in you? I think that was really good. I think I did a good job. Yes, you did. For me to actually travel yes, about eight hours, nine hours to, yes. to get there, yes. to pack your things, because yeah. some men were like, yo, mm -hmm. when are you going to move in? Are you, you pack and come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Which most people do. And that is a feminine behavior from a man to say, leave your wife there and let her do everything. You hear that? It's feminine behavior. Yeah, it's a feminine behavior. Because if you marrying mm -hmm. me, now all my stresses are your stresses. Let's go get my stuff. Because where is the lionic nature here? Where mm -hmm. is the man that is protecting? Mm -hmm. Where is the man that is aggressive? Mm -hmm. Where is the man that this is my wife? Mm -hmm. You are not shown with that. Mm -hmm. And so then that is what brings uh, division in the, in the marriage where the man feels like, okay, you need to pay this amount mm -hmm. and I need to pay this. Mm -hmm. Because initially she, he's showing that he doesn't really care for you. Mm -hmm. So now this is going to be a relationship of 50-50. Of mm -hmm. But it should be 100-100. Mm -hmm. Where you as a man take your place as a man. Mm -hmm. Go there. Do what you're supposed to do for your mm -hmm. wife. You shouldn't let your wife go and get a U-Haul truck. Mm -hmm. Pack her own things and drive to you. So by the time I get to your house, of course I'll be upset. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, for, for, for her, it showed that wow, I have a man in my life. There are certain things that I don't have to do anymore. I was shook it. Let I wasn't you know, used to yeah. That. I have somebody that can can you know be there for me mm -hmm. to 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 take care of me because mm -hmm. now if this guy can travel all this miles mm -hmm. to come here and pick up me, mm -hmm. pick up my stuff, you yeah. know, you know, he's a husband. 
Yeah. He's an Osborne. He's a husband. Osborne. Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> and so remember, does he meet your needs? Does he cherish and adore you? Does he bring out the feminine inside of you? Men, does she bring out the masculine inside of you as well too? And the more masculine you are, that is the less masculine he will be. Mm. And so this is for my single ladies. If you realize that your boo thing is very lax, is very like, when is he going to propose to me? When is it? That means you are not doing what you have to do as a woman. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that means you are not doing what you have she, to do not, as a she's woman. She's not touching the heart. Nah. There's like a masculine switch. Yeah. She hasn't touched it she yet. She hasn't touched it. She's and so you about to like be a <laughs> ringless for a long time. <laughs> Because in his yeah. mind, he's thinking, yeah. See, he's having doubts. He hasn't, mm -hmm. He's having more questions than answers mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't want a man to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And if you're a man having more questions, I will advise you to take your time. Yeah, don't go. Don't go. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> <laughs> you need to have all these questions met. Remember, we're supposed to complement each other. When we think of a puzzle, puzzles go into each other. Mm. And so if you even see the body of a female versus the body of a man, our S is meant to go into their crevices, their, mm. all of that. Yeah. And so everything about us is designed to puzzle into the man. And we become one. Yes. Yes. And so even my big belly is not meant for to be flat because it has to enter into it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's very important that you pull out the, the greatness in one mm, another. Mm, mm. And then let me see what else I can say before we go. If you're given um, your masculine mode, you will always attract a feminine man. And so those Ooh. of you who are always saying that he's too soft and I can't believe he's doing this and doing that and he doesn't really care and it's like he's passive aggressive, that's because you're too aggressive. Mm, mm. I think you should hit on that more. Yeah, I think you're too aggressive. Mm. And that usually is nowadays the women. Most women, we have higher education rates than men do. Mm. And so you think that your education will keep you warm at night when in reality it will not. And so you have to now remember that, no, 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 no. I'm a child of God because we are all Christians here. And I now have to go by the precepts of the Bible, which says that I need to learn how to submit. I need to be more feminine. I need to be more caring, but not too aggressive because that's his job. Even when we get into... Um, a marriage. You see that most people, most women end up having issues with their husbands when children come in because mm. they're like, you are too lax. You don't do this with the kids. You don't tell them when to stop. You know, if they're hitting somebody, you just sit there. Mm. And we end up becoming aggressive yeah. when that's not the nature God told us to be. So, if anything, they should be able to run to us after yeah. you yell at them. Yeah. yeah. So for the man... I think sometimes, too, we also need to work a little harder uh, because if the woman is that educated, she, she may be making more money or whatever, that is when you have to work harder because everything that woman is mm -hmm. was made for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need to learn how to manage that woman in a sense mm -hmm. where you, 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 there, there are things that you can do to bring her to a, left, to a, a place of her understanding why mm -hmm. he's, he's married to you. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, a woman... Um, like she's saying, that, I mean, at least the woman should get to a point where she's being respectful and all that. But you as a man, if a woman is educated and is highly, you know, she may be ahead of you in education and everything, mm -hmm. you don't be, don't, be threatened by, don't be threatened by that. You need to know that, that all that education is to come and help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That understanding needs to be there. Mm -hmm. That all this equipment, all these things that the Lord has made this woman mm -hmm. is for me. Because remember, the Bible said that I need help. Mm -hmm. So if I'm getting, get, I'll get somebody who's also more educated, mm -hmm. somebody who's, who's, mm -hmm. who's stronger in a sense, so that my life can move forward. Mm -hmm. All right? But an understanding is the key. Mm -hmm. I think both need to understand mm -hmm. each other and know why we are both married. Mm -hmm. I think that goes a long way. Yes. All right? So don't be threatened by somebody's accomplishment, especially if it's a female. Yeah, and most yeah. of the time it's from wounded men and wounded women. What wounded men say is that 
you know, I'm not giving her nothing. It's 50-50, blah, blah, blah. And that's because they probably done it before with the wrong person because they didn't consult God with. And that person broke their heart. As a result, the next person has to suffer. And then the women who often don't like these type of teachings are as a result of they were maybe wounded by men. And it's a bunch of different men because they've always been the aggressor. They've always been the one who is always giving, 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 giving. And they attract very feminine men. And so you got to be careful with that. That is, yes, it's like being getting with the wrong person mm -hmm. who took advantage of you. Mm -hmm. So then the next person have to mm -hmm. suffer. Mm -hmm. And so um, that is why we, 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 we should get healed, man. Mm -hmm. you, you, it's possible. Because you're going to be hurting somebody, yes. somebody's daughter. It's going to affect your marriage. Mm -hmm. If somebody has, you know, you dated somebody, it didn't go well, mm -hmm. it's, it's forgive that person, number one. Forgiveness will help mm -hmm. you to, to relieve, release yourself from all that bitterness. So forgive the person so that you can move on. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive, there's no way you can move on in, that mar in your marriage. Your wife will feel it. Your wife will see it in you because you were hurt by another woman. And so every man, we need to forgive our forgive our past girlfriends and fiancés who disappointed mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. girls that we spend money on mm -hmm. that still played us. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Same thing forgive. for women. Yeah. You don't want your queen to be affected by things that she had nothing to do with. And you don't want your king to be affected by things that he had nothing to do with. Mm. Because it's not fair to both of them. And so we all have a responsibility to make sure we heal from our past hurts mm. and really look at it as a seed that you sown for your next relationship and or marriage. Mm. Mm. And so as a result, you'll find that many women enter into marriage and they have... Uh, they already have preconceived notions and they end up hating their husbands through the course of time when the husband probably didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. They are just now suffering from what someone else did. Mm -hmm. But your king should not suffer for a bunch of frogs. Yeah. yeah. Gotta yeah. be careful with that. Listen, if you've been in a relationship that was not good, that is one of the, that is your responsibility to mm -hmm. make sure that you get into one that is, mm -hmm. that you not bring the baggage of the old to the mm -hmm. new. If you mm -hmm. if you allow that to happen, you will suffer mm -hmm. in marriage, and it will it will limit your joy mm -hmm. in the marriage. So learn how to relieve yourself, release yourself from the old relationship, mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy the new one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you see, um, another thing is when a man is truly ready to um, when a man is truly ready to get married and really be serious, one thing is he wants to know that you can receive from him. Because one thing that happens is when they see when they say that I'm ready and they realize that you don't know how to receive, you don't know how to receive their love, you don't know how to receive their time, you're always playing your little hard to get games and every day you're playing these caddy games and you're being arrogant and you're doing all these things, what often happens is you, you are rejecting him, and mm. men hate rejection. Oh. And so if you are feminine, you are very conscious of a man being rejected. Mm. And so you don't even get into something if you know you don't want to be mm. in it. And so it's very, very important that, yes, the men have a responsibility to pray and ask God, should I move forward? Mm. But you, too, have a responsibility as well, too, to pray mm. that, Lord, is this worth it? Because I don't want to break his heart. I don't mm. want to reject him mm. and then cause another woman to suffer. Mm. Mm. Men cannot take rejection at all. We, <laughs> I guess <laughs> that makes us the softest, though. <laughs> we, we can't. That's why a man cannot be cheated on. Because it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an act of rejection. Mm -hmm. Like your wife has rejected you for another man. Mm -hmm. And so for us, um, rejection is not good. So, mm -hmm. you know, men, let's learn not to be rejected. In life. <laughs> <laughs> amen, 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 amen. So masculine men don't want you initiating the giving or starting the giving. He wants you to be a service. He, wa he wants to be a service to you. He wants to please you. He wants to cherish you. He knows that doing that will bring out the man in him. Mm. And so sometimes if you want to boost up a man's self-esteem, 
You really do have to learn how to be feminine and you learn how to praise him, even the little things that he does. Mm. Because the more you praise him, you'll realize that you are you are building his chest to do more things. Yes. So it's very, very important as well, yep. too. And remember, you are the egg. The egg doesn't move. Mm. The sperm comes and finds and fights through all these tentacles and all these cells and all these things and enters the egg. Mm. And so be still, women. Be still. Stop mm. being so aggressive and really trust God. Mm. And then lastly, I'll end with this, the spiritual aspect of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. When you become a wife, when you are in your feminine nature, what happens is that the Holy Spirit is so close to you. Mm -hmm. And I always imagine um, Abraham, what's his name? Adam laying on the floor and God literally taking his rib and creating the woman. And so the vision that I get is that pastor's laying down and then I'm standing over him, right? And as I stand over him, I'm the first one to see him naked because he was asleep. Mm. And so as a wife, as a feminine, when you are truly in line with the Holy Spirit, what the Holy Spirit does to you as a wife is now he begins to show you the nakedness of your husband mm. so you can cover it. Mm. He begins to show you what the enemy has planned concerning your husband. So now you can be his secret strength mm -hmm. and his secret weapon. Mm -hmm. And so you have a responsibility in your feminine to make sure that you know the word of God, understand the word of God, work in the power of God. Mm. And you understand what covering your husband looks like mm. in a feminine manner. Mm. Many times I'll have a dream and I'll know that it's targeted towards my husband and I'll tell him, I sense danger in this area. Please don't go far. And him being a masculine man who understands what my purpose is, that I take, compute, and birth, he understands the Holy Spirit just birthed something out of this lady's mouth. So let me take heed to it. Mm. As a result, you'll realize he's smooth sailing all the time. Whereas there may be other men, by the grace of God, he's smooth sailing. But there may be other men who don't respect their mm. wives mm. or don't cherish their wives mm. and don't cherish the words that are coming out of her yeah. mouth. And so when she says something, it's like, what do you know? I'm the boss. I'm mm. the apostle of the house. I'm the head. I'm the priest. Mm. Shut up. Your words don't matter. And then the girl comes and seduces you and your ministry fails. But the thing is that you know that you are the apostle. Mm -hmm. We know that you are the priest, mm -hmm. but you need the help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So something to think about. Mm -hmm. You you can be all that you think you are, mm -hmm. but you need the help. That is mm -hmm. why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm, I have the tools to help mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I am the teacher here. I'm, I'm about to help you. Mm -hmm. I'm about to, put, I'm about to put, help you to become that, even the priest that you have been mm -hmm. called to. Mm -hmm. So God will never neg negate the woman, even mm -hmm. when it comes to revelation for mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. Bible said that even when it came to Isaac, and Isaac was a promised child, mm -hmm. and he had the, uh, the, the covenant that was upon him, mm -hmm. that Isaac couldn't uh, have a child. And so when the wife went to the Lord, and uh, when Rebecca was having a baby, mm -hmm. there, was, there was a struggle in mm -hmm. her womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, Isaac didn't know what was happening, but the woman knew. She knew. And she went to the Lord, mm -hmm. and the Lord spoke specifically mm -hmm. to, her. to her. Isaac never heard what the mm -hmm. Lord said to mm -hmm. the generation that was coming, but the woman knew. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So there are things that God will reveal to your mm -hmm. wife that's going to help you. Mm -hmm. If Rebecca would have told Isaac, mm -hmm. it would have negated all that would happen. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so you as a woman also learn how to share the things that the Lord revealed to you. Mm -hmm. Know that it's not just for your own, mm -hmm. but it's for the entire family. That's where communication yeah. comes in. You as a woman, when you're feminine and you're being in your nature, you're not being aggressive. You're saying that, honey, we need to talk. We need to have this conversation. You need to be the one who can actually bring out the conversation in your husband. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so these are all things. Spiritually, we have an assignment as well mm. in our feminine nature. Mm. And so we'll talk more about this at Think Pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, what about you want to deal, talk about how a woman needs a financial support from um, maybe finances today or maybe tomorrow? At this point, I realize we have a lot of different topics and we may have to do this like next month or something again because there's a lot of different, 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 mm. different topics mm. from married people that I have like a plethora of questions 
and then the single ones and those were quarantine phone lines mm. yeah all of that so okay mm-hmm. all right so yeah women we need to cherish the woman mm-hmm. they, they carry something men that can be a blessing to us mm-hmm. a woman mm-hmm. can be a blessing to you and so make sure that you are cherishing her you are loving her you are adoring her mm-hmm. um make sure that you are making mm-hmm. her happy all right, so whatever you got to do to make mm-hmm. your wife happy. Mm-hmm. Why? We always say that a happy wife, mm-hmm. a happy home, right? Um, and so if you have a happy wife, your house will be joyful. Mm-hmm. Amen. So uh, let us cherish the woman um, mm-hmm. and, you know, for marriage. Amen. And so Think Pink is our annual women's conference. You can go to www thinkpinkconference.com or you can go to um, kftchurch.com or you can go on our Instagram or on our Facebook and they'll give you all the information. Um, It is happening August 13th to August 16th. And so we are praying and I want you to pray with us that Corona does not spoil our plans. We're trusting in God that it won't. And we're going to have a good time. It's four days. It's it's a lot of good teachings like this. Mm-hmm. And so make sure you come. All right. So mm-hmm. God bless all of you. Tomorrow is another day. Yes. Uh, tomorrow we'll be answering questions, God, by yes. God's grace. Yeah. Yes. So we'll tomorrow answer questions. Right? We have all your questions. We'll be dealing with them tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All right. So make sure you don't miss tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, feel free um, to, if you want to, if you want to sponsor anything, feel free to do that as well. Mm-hmm. If you want to give any offering, you can also do that as well. Mm-hmm. All right? So God bless everyone. Amen. And God I pray for good God. marriages. I pray that even as these teachings are going on, Amen. that marriages will be amended Amen. and fixed uh, for the glory of the Lord. Amen. Uh, we pray that anyone that is going through any kind of struggle Amen. in their marriage, Amen. may Jehovah himself Amen. visit them today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we come against the forces of divorce. Amen. We pray that marriages will be fixed. Amen. Those that want to get married, may the Amen. Lord open your eyes. Yes, Lord. May you not make a mistake. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may you not make a mistake. Amen. May Jehovah speak to you even through these teachings. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, touch every marriage that is represented Amen. here. Make every marriage glorious. Yes, Lord. We come against any attack on any marriage. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. Protect every marriage that is here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Cover us in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that those that are on their way, yes. Lord, even as now, you begin to prepare them. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. We thank you, yes, Lord. we bless you, Amen. and give you all the praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Somebody say amen. Amen, 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 amen. I know we didn't take the traditional approach when it came to this love and marriage series. I believe the Holy Spirit directed us to do it another way. And I believe it has been a blessing to you guys. And um, we will get more into it. And we'll probably do another one next month or two months. Who knows whenever the Lord yeah. leads us to. So. And Friday, guess what we'll be doing? Friday, we are praying for marriage. Kaba. And yeah. so make sure you don't miss it. Friday is going to be prayer for marriage. Mm-hmm. And no Jacuzco marriage will be allowed. Yeah. And so yeah. we're going to destroy marriages that are not, and then relationships that are not godly needs mm-hmm. to be broken. Mm-hmm. Godly relationships need to stick the next step. Mm-hmm. And even if you are already in marriage, uh, in anything that fights against your marriage, we will be praying against it. Amen. And so make sure that you are here this coming Friday. Amen. I remember one time we went to a camp. And the man of God was like, everyone raise your hand. And we all raised our hands. And he said, anyone who is in a relationship that is not from God, I break it in the name of Jesus. Break any relationship that is not from God.